Hi, and welcome back to another tutorial on Adobe Lightroom version 4. Today we're going to take a look at a photo sent in to us by FB Photography on travel photography. Uh, what they're doing is they're asking us to take a look at an image, uh, pull out the colors to upload it to a website that they can use it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close a couple panels here so it makes it easier for us to look at the image that we're working on. So the image is a image inside of a airport. So um, the problem they're running across here is well, the color is just not bright. Um, they're not going to accept an HDR image. So we're going to use Lightroom to kind of give it an HDR look, but we're not going to actually have an HDR image. So the, the simple steps are um, we're going to brighten up the, the hallway here with the lights. We're going to bring the color out of the sky. Um, some pretty simple steps. We'll go through it pretty quickly here so you, you can just follow along with us. Um, first thing I would do um, is I look up here and see how uh, the image was shot. Um, 140th a second at f8, ISO 100, um, a 70 millimeter lens at a 70 to 300 millimeter focal point. Um, f4.5 to 5.6 so what we're going to do um, first thing I do is the, take the exposure we're going to drop the exposure just a little bit even though it looks underexposed um, we're going to drop the exposure and then bring it up later in a couple of the other adjustments that we're going to use so I'm going to drop the exposure by 0.50 half a stop then what we're going to do is we're going to jump over into the highlights and the shadows. I'm going to drag these all the way up to 100%. So now you can see in the image that you're getting some of the color inside of the uh, hallway that you had lost whenever the image was taken. Whites and blacks, I'm going to skip over. The next thing I'm going to use here is the clarity slider. I'm going to turn this clarity all the way up to 100, which now kind of gives a little bit of an HDR look that we're trying to achieve, but yet stay away from at the same time. Instead of using, you know, a Photoshop, um, Photomatics Pro, uh, we're going to just use Lightroom specifically. The next thing we're going to do is the vibrance. I'm going to pull this up to about 75. The saturation, bring it up to 55. So now what we're going to do is we're going to jump down here to get the color of the sky that's in your image that you said that you saw when you took it. We're going to take the aqua and the blue sliders and drag them all the way to the left at a minus 100. And there's your blue sky. Next thing you would do is we'll come down here to the sharpening just increase the sharpening a little bit uh, about 40 uh, would be a sufficient on your image I'll just use the keypad it makes it a little bit easier a little bit faster the luminance um, let's zoom in up here somewhere and let's see what we got um, there is a little bit of pixelation in the in the ceiling so I would use the luminance slider let's crank this up to about 50 which will take out a little bit of that grain for us uh, detail let's keep some detail in the image and then now go ahead and zoom back out to your image so now you can see we have the blue sky with the clouds in the background uh, that you had said that you had seen in your image when you took it We've, we've highlighted the inside a little bit that gave it some color. So it, it is an HDR look without the HDR. In, in Lightroom, this is how you do it. Um, I would suggest before going in and submitting the image to go through here. Um, you can see on the window where it's gotten a little bit dirty. Um, to go ahead and clean this up a little bit. So what I would do is go up, go up here and hit, uh, click on your spot removal tool. Um, and just... Start cleaning up your image a little bit um, to get rid of some of the stuff on your image. You know, um, and again, you know, I don't know how much they're asking for you um, to, to do on your image, but uh, it wouldn't take very long to go through. Um, here's where Photoshop might be a little bit better 
uh, to go through here and clean up your image. Um, but you know, you could do it in Lightroom too if you wanted to. You can just go ahead and use your, you know, uh, see like this right here. I would use Photoshop or um, the cloning tool to kind of help clear that out. But overall, um, in Lightroom, you know, this is how you create that HDR look without actually using an HDR image. So um, the adjustments are very simple. You don't have to do a lot to pull out those colors in Lightroom. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions on this video or any other video, um, you know, just drop us an email uh, or send us a comment, and we will get back to you. Um, you know, uh, when you're when you're doing travel photography or try and submit it, um, you know, as you know, a way to make a little extra money on your on your travels. You know, not a bad idea um, to go ahead and, and do what you've done. Just, you know, spend a little bit of time cleaning up the image uh, before you submit it will definitely help in the process whenever you decide to uh, send this over to either a stock agency or if this is actually being requested of you, um, you know, from a company that you're, that you're working with. Um, it wouldn't take very long to clean up this image. The inside, the lights are, are good. The ambient light is nice. Um, you know, the, the blue background, um, the clouds in the background, um, but like I said, it's just a little bit of tweaking that you can do in Lightroom um, to give it that HDR look. So what we can do is we can now go here and cycle between the before and after. So on the left hand side you have the after and the right hand side, um, I mean, sorry, the right, left hand side is the before and the right hand side is the after. So you can see, you know, how much range you have in your image to pull out some color. So, hope this helps. Um, if you have any more questions, please uh, feel free to send us an email. We'll take a look at your images. Um, see if we can help you get some, some more color, some more um, vibrance in your images without having to, you know, jump between two or three different programs. Um, thank you very much for your time. Um, this is quick and easy, so... Uh, again, if you have any questions, please let us know and we'll get back to you as quickly as we can.